Will these guitar hacks make you a better player? Let's find out. If you're watching this video, chances are you're not already subscribed to the channel. To stay up to date with our latest content, hit the subscribe button now and don't forget to give us a thumbs up too. Hi, Sam from Guitar Village here. Over the years of playing guitar, I've learned quite a few different guitar hacks which I'm going to share with you today. What I also thought would be a really cool thing to do is to check out what other people are doing as well. We're going to watch a couple of videos and we're going to try and recreate some of those hacks. Let's get started. The first hack we're going to look at is the Dave Gilmore Seagull Effect. To achieve this, you take your traditional style wire pedal and you wire it back to front. So by that, I mean you plug your guitar into the output of the pedal and your amplifier into the input of the pedal. I've also been told it's useful to use a delay with this as well, so let's give it a try. We've got the wire pedal wired up back to front. I've set all my controls as I would normally for playing, so everything's at 10 on the neck pickup. Now let's turn the wire pedal on and see what this sounds like. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> okay, so I've also been told that Changing the controls will help this, in achieving different sounds. Um, I haven't turned the delay pedal on yet, so let's try this with the volume off first. So the pedal's back on. <laughs> I feel like this is gonna be a lot of experimentation. So that, that was me turning the, the tone pot down. That, that is a weird sound there. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try and <laughs> I'm gonna try and put the delay pedal on and see how that sounds. Okay, so something a bit more musical. That's fun. That sounds, that sounds like a vintage ambulance. I love it. This, this is gonna take a lot of experimenting to get some sounds with it. What was that guy smoking? That is a weird, weird sound. Let's check out the next hack. The next guitar hack we're gonna look at is instant Les Paul kill switch. Now this is one that I've done quite a lot live and it's really useful just to add an effect in there. The way you achieve this is by turning one of the volumes down on just one of the pickups. And what that means is you can toggle between both pickups, one works and the other doesn't. This is a really useful effect, like I said, if you wanna just add something different to your set, but it's also quite helpful if between songs or you know, at the end of the gig you just wanna turn the guitar down or off completely without using the volume control. Now, I find using this it is quite helpful to have a little bit of overdrive on as well, so I'll just demonstrate this. Super simple and it doesn't cost you anything except there's Paul. So the next hack we're gonna have a look at is one I saw the other day and I thought this is just so unique and so weird. Let's check it out and see if we can recreate it. The coolest guitar trick ever, check this out. Take the first string and detune it as much as you can. Now take the first string, take it out of the first string nut slot and put it in the B string nut slot right there. Tune it up to match that B string. Now you get this cool bazooki tune. All right, let's give it a go. So we need to tune the E string down and then put it over into the B string nut slot. Okay, instantly that sounds horrible. Let's tune the, see if we can tune the E string back up to a B. Okay, some assembly required with this one. Okay, it didn't sound like as out there as I was expecting. I think the car on the video really gets the most out of that one. 
Let's check out the next hack. One thing that a lot of strap players will have noticed is when using your trem arm, you might find that it just always wants to fall down. Now, Fender thought about this years ago, and I don't think they made a big deal about telling everyone about it, but what you can get is one of these tiny little trem arm springs. With a lot of the old American standard strats, they used to supply them with them. Um, they've changed the trem arms now, so they don't. But what you do, and it's a really, really simple thing, you simply unscrew your trem arm. A lot of unscrewing. Drop this into the hole there. Put your trem arm back in. And you don't have to go crazy with tightening this, just enough. And you can see trem arm stays where you want it to. Okay, so we've all been at a gig and forgotten one of these, your slide. So the next hack is what weird objects can you sort of grab that you might have on you that we can use as a slide instead. Now, the first one I thought a lot of people might have a screwdriver with them, you know. At least people who are prepared for things to go wrong. So, does this work as a slide? It's very noisy, but yeah, kind of does something. I should probably have grabbed a screwdriver that wasn't too rusty either. The other thing I thought a lot of players will have on them, you know, if you're putting your set list out, is a, a pen. Not so well. <laughs> so. Pen's no good unless you've got a really round, hard pen. Maybe a truss rod adjuster. That actually sounded better than the slide. Um, I guess as well, actually, you could hold it like that. It does look really weird, though. So, truss rod key works. The other thing I thought, and this is a bit obscure, a hoover attachment. It's kind of round, might work. The tonality's not the best, but what the heck, it works. So yeah, weird objects you can use as a slide. Let's go on to the next hack. You may have got to the gig, forgotten one of these. Well, don't fret. There is a great video with a great hack of using a pencil. Let's check out the video. Guitar life hacks. No capo, no problem, pencil and rubber band is all you need. Twist, twist, twist. Pencil on capote fret. Okay, let's go. Works great in a pinch. Let's give it a try then. So I have a pencil and a rubber band and we're going to twist, twist, twist and then try and get this thing on there without snapping something. That's going to be really convenient in between songs as well, I'm trying to do that. <laughs> I think if you've got like a strap or something with a vintage radius fretboard, it's probably not going to work, but if you've got an acoustic with a fairly flat fingerboard, that's probably the good hack for you. So the next hack we are going to look at is turning your strap into a wah pedal. Now this is one that I've seen someone do online, I've not tried it before. I know the principle is you turn the tone control down on one of the pickups and then use the pickup selector to achieve the wah sound while playing. Now I'm going to watch the video, just see how they do it again, let's check it out. Your guitar has a built-in wah pedal. Set your neck pickup tone to zero and your bridge to 10 and flip the pickup selector after playing single notes. We're going to set one of the tones to zero. Start with that and see how that sounds. Okay, that kind of sounds a bit weird. Let's try it with the neck pickup and see if that works a bit better. Okay, yeah, that makes a lot more sense. But I guess when you're playing... It's really hard to try and focus on doing both things at the same time. Get a wild pedal. 
This hack is one of those ones that I think a lot of people do know about, but it is really useful. So if you've never tried this and you're into your recording or you do a lot of like tapping and legato exercises, um, this is a great way to get rid of the unwanted open string noise. Now, a lot of people use like a hairband for this because you can kind of leave it wrapped around your headstock. Um, I didn't have a hairband to hand. So what I've got is a lovely Hogwarts mask instead. Very topical. Now, to do this, I'm using a rubber band to hold it together. What you've got is very little string noise. So if you're using lots of kind of distortion, delay, things like that, and you want to do all your tapping stuff, you're not going to get all that unwanted open string noise. Let's check out the next hack. So this one is, I don't want to say it's as much of a hack as it is something that you should just try anyway, and that is guitar pick thickness, or pickness as I've been saying all week. What we're going to do is we're going to try half a dozen different size picks. They're all going to be the same material. We're going to start with the thinnest. This is a, a 0 0.050, and just see how it affects the sound. And obviously if you play an acoustic guitar and testing picks out, there is only one song for that. Okay, so there was a variety of different pick thicknesses. Like I said, they're all the same material, and you can you can actually hear there is a difference. It's kind of like some, I think the thicker you go, kind of introduces some more low mids into there, um, and just changes the overall feel. It's not like a massive difference, but I think it's enough that, you know, you can hear that there's something changing in there, and I think with a little bit of experimenting, you know, try different picks, you might find one that really works for you. Now, We've gone through some great guitar hacks and this last one, it's a little bit of a bonus one because it's not strictly a guitar hack and that is capoing your iPhone or any other similar type of phone. Now, you might ask, why would you want to capo your phone? Well, this is a really useful thing to do if you've just written like a new riff or a new lick and you want to remember it, so you want to record yourself playing it. And what you do is you put the capo at the bottom of the phone like that, so it just clips on nicely and then set it down set it to selfie mode and you're ready to go. I think someone may already have written that one. Back to the drawing board. So there's some really fun guitar hacks that we just tried out there. It was great trying some new ones out and I hope this might inspire you to try some of them out as well or maybe come up with some of your own. We really enjoyed making this video and we hope you enjoyed watching it. We'll be bringing out new videos every Friday at 4 p.m. So hit the subscribe button now to stay up to date with our latest content. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up too.